second important option is uh, what is known as an edges option so typically as in if the clock is a simplified uh, waveform let's say it's a divided frequency with a 50% duty cycle you can use divide by option but like when you have clock gating elements or a complex uh, derived clock waveform from the parent clock you have to use what is known as edges option so let's understand how that option behaves edges option tells you with respect to the edge of the parent clock how the generated clock behaves so let's say this clock is your parent clock and we will number the edges of this parent clock when it rises so let's say this rises here so this is edge number 1 this is then falls here that is the edge number 2 then it rises here again which is the edge number 3 then it falls here which is the edge number 4 then rises here edge number 5 and so on. so basically we have numbered the edges of the parent clock as in increasing order 1 2 3 4 5 now using using those edges we will define the generated clock we will tell that when the generated clock rises so we are saying generated clock rises at h equal to 1 so which is here so it rises here at h equal to 1 then it falls at h equal to 5 so let's say 1 is here 2 3 4 5 it falls at h equal to 5 and then it rises again at h equal to 7 and that completes the behavior so it rises at h equal to 1 here then it falls at h equal to 5 here and then it rises again at h equal to 7 and that completes one periodic behavior so this becomes your generated clock wait for so this list should have odd number of elements because it tells you what time it rises it falls and rises you can have more rise or fall but basically it should have odd number of behavior so it rises at h equal to 1 or corresponding to the parent clock so it rises here h number 1 is here h number 5 is here so it falls at h equal to 5 and then rises at h equal to 7 again so this creates a new clock period or waveform which is this and it is if you see it is not simple as just dividing by 2 or multiplying by something it is a more complex waveform and that is why edges option is used so edges option is used to define a complex clock behavior with respect to parent clock edges okay. let's see another example where we have numbered the parent clock edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on here you are defining a generated clock which Rises at edge two, so edge one is here, edge two is here, so it rises at edge two. Then it falls at edge four, so it falls at edge four, and then it rises at edge six again. So that completes the behavior. Okay, so here the behavior is completed. 